Have you ever wondered how sedimentary rocks are formed? Sedimentary rocks are formed in the process of deposition, cementation, and compaction over millions of years. First, minerals and organic particles that are floating in a liquid must settle or be deposited on the floor. This is called sedimentation. Gravity pulls the floating particles of other rocks, minerals, or once living organisms towards the floor and settles them there. Sometimes, complete or parts of dead organisms can be deposited along with the rest of the particles. Over many years, they are covered with more and more particles and the pressure from the top layers and the force of gravity causes the deposited layers to be fused together. We call this cementation because the particles are cemented together. Over millions of years ago, the layers on top continue to be added and the pressure increases and compacts to layers below until they are tightly packed and become sedimentary rocks. This is called compaction since it presses the particles in the layers so tightly that it squeezes out air and liquids until the layer becomes solid. But did you know that sedimentary rocks can be found outside of water as well? When a body of water dries up over millions of years, it leaves behind the deposited layers of sediment and fossils. When the wind, a machine, living organisms, or running water erode the sedimentary rock through weathering, it reveals the many layers formed over millions of years. As a matter of fact, Sedimentary rocks are most easily identified by the distinctive layered characteristics. You can also find the fossils of the once living organisms embedded in the sedimentary rocks. Think of it like a glass of water. If you were to drop a spoon of dirt and mix it up, the water would become muddy. But after some time, the dirt would finally settle at the bottom of the glass. If you put sand in next, the same thing would happen, and then you would have two layers at the bottom of the glass. If you repeated the process and kept doing this with other particles, you would have many, many layers. Over millions of years, and a lot of layers and pressure, you would have made your very own sedimentary rock. That'll probably not happen in your lifetime though. Let's review what we've learned. Sedimentary rock is formed over millions of years through the process of deposition, cementation, and compaction. Sedimentation is a process of mineral and organic particles that are floating in a liquid, settling and accumulating on the floor because of gravity. Sometimes, complete or partial dead organisms are also deposited in the layers. Over millions of years, many layers are deposited and the pressure causes the particles to bond together in a process called cementation and compaction. When a body of water dries up, or if the Earth's place shift, it can expose the sedimentary rock below the surface. Weathering and erosion can further expose and break up sedimentary rock layers and can even reveal hidden fossils. Sedimentary rocks are most often identified by their layered appearance. Thanks for watching. See you next time.